everything. We may have missed something. I just want to go home. I'm sure I'm fine now. Rina, the doctor's no best. You had some serious symptoms. A if I symptoms. have another one, I'll come right back, okay? If you have it while you're driving. You can drive me. Make sure I take it easy. Who can? My mother. Your mother's here? What are you talking about? She's right there. You sampled every bodily fluid, peeked in her brain, violated a cadaver's privacy, dug up a body. body. But missed the fact she was still seeing things that weren't there. Neurological symptoms are getting worse. It'd be nice if one of you angels slash morons had a clue why. We did a full history. She never mentioned seeing or hearing anything unusual. Oh, well, as long as she never said anything. How are you to know? Same thing with the spinal fluid. She tell you that was fine? The labs were all clear. Then either we're about to meet the Alpha and Omega, or you missed something. We missed the new symptom. It's not a new symptom. We always knew she had hallucinations. Seeing your dead mother's a hallucination. Not knowing she's dead is a delusion. You keep this up, you're gonna have to start wearing sexier clothes. Uh, carbon monoxide could also cause delusions, a lot of haunted houses. There's no headache, no tachycardia. I guess they didn't cover that at your medical school. What about a hereditary connection? I mean, she's 24, her mother died when she was 25. In Ukraine 20 years ago, good luck trying to get those records. So we start new records. Test for every hereditary disease that fits the symptoms. There are at least 40 different mitochondrial disorders, another couple hundred. Start with amyloidosis. You keep going until you reach zamyloidosis. Now what are you testing for? Or should I ask what you're not testing for? Well, we could narrow it down if you could remember what your mother died from. My mother is not dead. She's sitting right there. Do you think we're lying to you? Leave it alone. Convincing her that her mother's dead isn't gonna make her better, just miserable. You lose your mother? Do you think we're trying to trick you? Why would we do that? Because you're mean, and you're not good at your job. Rina, stop! You're being cruel. They're wasting time, doing exactly what the guy in the wheelchair said they'd do. The guy in a wheelchair was here? You know what I'm talking about. He's been hanging around ever since they brought me in, complaining about how incompetent everyone is. He said you killed his dog. So, what's the news? Everything's negative so far. Yes, why wait to finish before reporting to me? I have things to do, you know. She's seeing someone else. That's not news. That's olds. Damn it. Why did God design the human body this way? A guy in a wheelchair. In a hospital. It's enough to give you the heebie-jeebies. He had a dog. She's seeing Stark, our last patient. Well, if it's Stark, he wouldn't be haunting the patient. He'd be haunting the doctor who killed him. She probably just overheard someone talking about it or... Probably! You think there's a possibility that the alternative is true? No. Then go away. We're wasting time. We ran 32 gels, we could run 100 more. Without knowing how her mother died... I have to run 100 more. And by you, of course, I'm only referring to the people who care enough about human life to put in a full day. You want a carpool? Uh, how do you expect me to respond to this stuff? Exactly like you just did. I have a theory. Maybe you can help me out. Black Mormon means masochist, which means kinky. I'm thinking that someone got hurt making the bastard. Am I right? Are you leave my son out of this? I wasn't referring to your kid's hypocrisy. I was referring to yours. Why don't we just ask her how she died, hmm? Because she won't tell us. She thinks her mother's still alive. I don't mean ask the patient. I mean ask her mother. Cool. Come on. What the hell does that mean? You guys talk in your own language now? I'm sorry, I'll try to include some visual aids next time. Now what? I'm Dr. House. Is your mom around? 
Why should I tell you? They're just going to tell me I'm lying or crazy. You're not going to do that. I really need to know what she has to say. What do you want? When you were young, was she... No, not you, him. The man in the wheelchair? No, he's old. He actually, looks like you. Yeah, that's Grandpa House. Tell him to call back on a landline. A terrible reception in here. How much pain was your mom in? It's Walter. He says his name is Walter. Can I help you? My patient's talking to my grandpa, Walt. You have a grandpa, Walt? Nope. Which is what made me suspect that maybe she's not actually seeing into the afterlife. What is this sudden obsession with the afterlife? Only obsession is with the idiots in the right here and now life who think there's an afterlife. And you want me to? Nothing. I just need a place to hang low for a while. I'm pretending to be spooked. Because? Because if my soon-to-be brain-dead patient thinks that I believe her, maybe she'll let me chat with her mother's ghost. The one you don't believe exists? Exactly. The ghost is a hallucination, which is the result of a delusion, which most likely is the result of a hereditary disease that her mother died from when the patient was four. And you think you can tap into her subconscious memory by tapping into her hallucination? Mm-hmm. She might not know what caused her mother's death, but she will know how she acted before she died. You're quite impressed with yourself right now, aren't you? <sighs> it wouldn't be. Well, that should be long enough. Back in a flash. Take your time. <laughs>